Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hide all desktop icons on Windows 10. So, you might be asking what reason would you want to do this? Who knows? So, obviously you're on this video for some reason, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, first things first, I want to put it out there, if you're running Windows 10 Home Edition, this tutorial will not apply for you. Uh, because we're going to be going through the Group Policy Editor, which is unavailable in Windows 10 Home Edition. However, it is available in Windows 10 Professional and Higher Up Editions, so just keep that in mind. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in Local Group Policy. Best match should come back with Edit Group Policy. Go ahead and left-click on that. So I'm going to make this window a little wider here, so it's a little easier to navigate. We're going to collapse the computer configuration section, so you double click on it or left click on the right next to it to collapse that. And now that we have all of our attention focused underneath user configuration, you want to expand the administrative templates folder. So you double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the desktop folder, so go ahead and left click on that. And now on the right side there should be something that says hide and disable all items on the desktop. Go ahead and double click on that. Now that we are in this prompt here, just keep in mind that this will remove icons, shortcuts, and other default and user-defined items from the desktop, including briefcase, recycle bin, computer, and network locations. Removing icons and shortcuts does not prevent the user from using another method to start the programs or opening the items that you represent. So just keep that in mind. Go ahead and select Enabled. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and select Apply and OK. So pretty straightforward process here guys, so close out of here. And then just restart your computer and that should be about it. So again, you will have to restart your computer. So do have this brief tutorial, was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.